Trying to find a house when you're 17 and you've never, like, you've only ever lived with your parents is really, really hard. And trying to pay rent every month. I mean, there would be days where I didn't have enough money to go to uni because I didn't have enough money for a tram ticket. Um, a girl came through today, she's an international student, international student, and she's living at College Square behind here in a two-bedroom apartment. She's paying $2,015 a month in rent. Um, and a lot of the students there are paying that much and a lot of them, because College Square is like, you know, affiliated with the different universities, they don't know how much rent they're paying in comparison to everybody else and they don't know that that's completely ridiculous to be paying that much rent and that most people, most students living in Melbourne will be paying less than that even though they're already paying too much. They've come from Singapore, they don't know anything about Melbourne and they're just told this is how much rent you have to pay and they think that that's the norm. Um, the vacancy rate at the moment, according to the Real Estate Institute of Victoria, is 0.3%. Um, so out of all the possible housing that is available to be lived in and rented, 0.3 are empty and put on the market for people to use. But rents over the past year have gone up 17%. So they know there's a problem. I think they're trying to ignore us, maybe, and pretend we're not here in a way. The Henderson Poverty Line is set at seven, something like $765 a fortnight, um, and that's like official government official government statistic for poverty, and Centrelink pays students $365 a fortnight. Um, so they're paying them half what is stated as the poverty line in Australia. I just couldn't afford it. There was no way I could afford it. Like, I don't get Centrelink because my parents work really wacky jobs and are self-employed, so even though they're way under the poverty line in terms of how much they actually earn and have to give me, like, it just wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Thank you.